Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Approximately two weeks ago I posted a video when I invited you to watch with me bidding on a core part site, right? And I was trying to get to buy for us for this Toyota Maintenance channel project vehicle. And you saw I was bidding on the 2005 Toyota Scion TC, which was located at the Eugene in Oregon. Now, the video ended up with me bidding the auction, but it was on approval and I wasn't sure if I will get it. Then we discovered, right, that I bid $475, the seller's reserve was $575 and basically video stopped. Now I will tell you and share with you what happened after that. In approximately one hour I got an email from Copart that the seller accepted my bid, right, $475 and then if I will pay for it I will become the owner of the vehicle. In my queue, right, on the Copart pages there was that whole line, I was able to select that I will pick it up by myself or I can pay $460 per shipping. I don't have a trailer and so on and I'm busy here, so in this first case, my first co transaction, I selected the shipping for $460, right? So my total came to $1,163. Well, to tell you exactly the fees, right? Vehicle, 475. Buyer fee, 130. Virtual bid fee, $39. Gate, $59. And long haul delivery, 460 to the total $1,163. With the help of the co-part Customer service, I figure out how to pay for it, right? There are many options. I used the credit card payment, vehicle was paid for, and it was going to be shipped to me. And that's where the problem started. That's why it took almost two weeks. Uh, nobody was basically interested in driving in my area. We are here in the rural of area of the Humble County, right? In Northern California, and nobody wanted to come here. Basically, the deal is you will get an email and you will get a phone call that they found somebody and they will ship it to you, right? So, nothing was happening. I read comments underneath the video I made for you. Some of you said, hey, forget about it. Don't waste your money. Just either get a trailer or even that dolly, right? These two wheels you can put that sound, it's small on it. You can rent it for, from you all for like 65 bucks. So I even looked in that last week, right? And I was actually planning on going this week or next Monday to pick it up. Meanwhile, of course, I was way too excited, right? Because I never had a Toyota 70 c to buy it so cheap. <laughs> you never can find these cars for sale for cheap. So I immediately bought the service repair manuals, right? This is the volume one two, three, huge, huge books and the electrical wiring diagrams, right? So these are four books, the factory materials. With help of this, I can fix absolutely anything on it. Today on President's Day, I'm sitting here with my frog friend with the glasses and we are scratching our heads. We are like, well, shall we go for it? Shall we go and pick up that sound so we can continue this whole story and bring some great content for Toyota maintenance? I have the phone ringing again, again, again. I'm like, who's so crazy why somebody calls me and already left two messages? So I finally listened to the message and there's some with happy Russian accent, right? Hello, friend! I'm calling regarding your Scion TC, my driver, my delivery. I'm like, wow, I just checked this morning my email if the copart is having drivers and they will deliver. Nothing, right? Nothing in the email, no phone call. Bang, now I'm getting a voicemail 
that the Caius is outside of my shop and a few pictures where they hide the key. And I'm kidding you not. I on purpose park behind the shop instead of in front of the shop. I want to have a genuine situation for you and for me too. So I have no clue how it looks in the detail. I just brought these because I believe they zip tied that key to one of the front struts. So all I know, let's go open this door and see what I bought. If it's complete disaster or it will be actually fun to work with it and modify it. So, wow, I'm kind of stressed out a little bit, but excited. And here we go. Hopefully it's not too windy, it's sunny. I hope it's not too windy. So this is the nice side, right? Which didn't get hit. And for some reason, if you watch that bidding video, it has that different rim on it. You can see it was sitting for a while. There is that rust on those brakes. Yeah. Here you can see, right? That's how it goes with the core part. It was farmers. So everything is learning, right? They put this F on it because it was a farmer's insurance, right? So in beginning it said no key, but no, it's not true. There was a key with it. And the key will be on one of the struts. There's a sun in my eyes. I guess it's not on this one. So this is the normal rim. Again, that rust. And here we go. That's why I bought it. Wow. I never saw it, right? This is a sight unseen. I never saw this car. Here is the damage. What I saw in the pictures, this door was completely untouched. The gaps seems to be absolutely perfect, even on the bottom. This rocker panel seems to be untouched. Again, another wheel and rim. This got actually damaged by something. Wow, that's a pity. That will need a different tire unfortunately and that's what you cannot see in the pictures right they don't take pictures of that somebody was trying to fix it obviously a little bit but that's no good here the gap is slightly bigger so the metal moved right here it's smaller this is all damaged this is the reverse light normally right this is probably switch for opening the rear trunk, so it's all damaged, unfortunately. But, yeah, this is a car which has a salvage title, right? And we know it got damaged. So basically, that's a walk around. I'm wondering where the key is. That's why I brought these. The way it's parked here, right, I will assume that the trucker came and I was able to start it up and just easily park it in the spot right in front of my shop. So, I'm still looking for the key so we can open the car and get inside. Do I have to go and look on my text again or bring a light maybe but yeah this is the walk around right here is basically that one only damage it's supposed to be on this vehicle it has that great sunroof otherwise normal wear right fading of the paint the windshield seems to be perfect the whole front I believe will be perfect on this car. I really hope there will be no surprises and it can be great project car. Let me look for the key. So I looked again on that text message what he sent me with those pictures, the owner of the tow company and it looks like it's here. So hopefully 
Oh, yeah. I just pulled it out, right? So that's why I brought... <sighs> this tool to cut it off. Holding the camera camcorder so it's not so easy but I want you to be part of this why because I bought it basically for you right I will drive it but I'll be the one working on it and hopefully we will have some fun with this vehicle so does it even work what's about opening wow door opened right if I click twice still the same look at this wow so obviously it's dirty but look at it I was thinking that because the gaps are okay that this will be not affected and look at it yeah that's really if you follow these I kept looking on the pictures right of course I was not able to go there or I was not willing to go there but look this is pretty cool I like it obviously the dirt right three paddles I will not buy automatic I won't do that I was only interested in it because it was manual these seats are famous for how supportive and in the same time comfortable they are so is the whole car open all the locks i believe so let's go and open the other side this we don't have the switch here right this is the micro switch and i don't think this will work i'm pushing it this is closed so that will need more work what's about this one did they Oh, the locks are not opening it. I wonder why not. Here we go. So, oh, and this is right where normally the key is hanging on the steering, where it's in the copar lot. And this is great. It's for free. There are parts falling off it. That was obviously, I think, that micro switch. Uh, we will see if it's usable or not, but that's the whole assembly, right? Right here. That's the rubber electronic switch. I think that will be junk and that will need to be replaced. Look at that. This is awesome. I believe, yes, original Scion Pioneer. Let's see what is in the glove box. Look, they left us some message. There will be message for us inside, maybe title, <laughs> we will see here, tire pressure button, right? As I said, once again, I never owned this vehicle before and worked on them in past just very little. So I'm not very familiar with these. And that was another reason why I wanted to buy it. It was extremely cheap as a first right first try with the co-part let's go and see yeah I just love this this is pretty awesome let's go and see if there will be any other damages but so far everything else seems to be cool around here this I can see why it moved out because it's all pushed in there so the material moved out but I believe that's all fixable and one of the other reasons why I bought it the seat nicely goes forward this was all pushed in right I know it from the pictures yet this model I believe didn't have these curtains side curtains airbags so nothing it's blown here there is some wire probably aftermarket stereo or something right here is the seat let's put it that's the most backwards let's open the hood i'm so excited this is absolutely cool as i said my first ever car from copart all learning experience 
oh look we got a rag here but again this seems to be unmolested unmodified besides one red wire again probably for some either amplifier or subwoofer or something in the back so i'm trying to lift this using my head holding it because i'm still filming for you all right look at it before i will start it up and cross your fingers but i believe it's perfectly running right before i will start it up i will check the oils look the valve cover gasket slightly leaking that's normal we have definitely mice activity here right do you see these little poops do you see the little feet here they were running on top of this cover the engine cover which is on top of the valve cover but we will be pulling the engine all right immediately checking if there is any any look it's a good shape and it's almost full excellent i can see the coolant is not all the way full but it's perfectly there and original power steering right this is guys so exciting i know this video will be a little bit longer but i'm absolutely stoked yeah decent engine air, engine air filter excuse me the brake fluid looks normal it's hard to do it with only one hand when you do it all your life with two there is a fuse for that additional 12 volt even this seems to be maintained and clean i'm absolutely absolutely happy in this case having that oil let's go and start it up here i'm looking at this there's something missing here it might be lock and unlock switch but the window says all auto so that switch is missing for some reason the top of it these holes are unbelievable how somebody was probably sticking some part there to push it out and made all these spots right that was being pushed from inside all right oh yeah this sun visor unfortunately doesn't hold you know i make videos about these things it's probably junk let's put this off so it doesn't drain the battery if I leave the keys on or something. Here is the key. Alright, let's see. It's only one, unfortunately. I can hear beeping immediately. Clutch in. Alright. And here we go. On. Check engine line, everything it's on. The fuel is at low. Oh, look at this. So the tire pressure light, you have aftermarket rim, so that's no surprise to me. Odometer 161.446, the parking brake is on. Guys, this is absolutely mega. I'm very happy. I'm excited. The display, oh look. That's perfectly working. I don't want to get demonetized, so I will not play some music, which I don't have a, a right to use it in my video. But this is exciting. This even works. All these modes. The idle slowly it's going down. Yeah. It's totally works. There's a little bit of wine in it, but I didn't really see that fluid level here this is here right everything's fine i'm completely happy one little detail which i saw in the pictures on the co-part right and it's only like six or eight of them this was popped right dislocated so i was like uh oh i wondering what happened here but it seems to be that it's really only popped from its mounts I don't see anything missing what is this part 
I was thinking maybe it's part of that lock switch on my side. Maybe not. We'll see. I will have to go through it more, obviously clean it up and so on. But, my friend, thank you very much for joining this with me. Oh yeah, this is hanging. I think this is great and it will be great adventure to fix and modify this 2005 Scion TC. So thank you for following me on this journey. I hope you are excited like I am because this is incredible, right? This car somebody could have plus the fees for like 550 something like that. And look, it's perfectly running. So I will drive it to the garage and then I will go through it in detail and that will be part of the next video. If you don't want to miss those, be subscribed. Thanks for watching and have a great day, my friend. Hehehehe <laughs>